Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you just landed here, do me a favor, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. Today, we're going to talk about Bull Boom Bear Bust. He's a gentleman I like to watch. He has a lot of good information and he promotes a lot of good things. But today, I am going to disagree with Bull Boom Bear Bust on his off-grid survivor arrested and self-sufficient living. I'm gonna disagree with that. Because he took Bull Boom Bear Bust, Jason Jaws is his name, I think. If I don't know if that's his real name, it sounds like a stage name, but hey, whatever. Jason Jaws of Bull Boom Bear Bust had said, look, these people are trying to live off grid and they're just gonna be arrested. Look, people brought up a point and said the guy was on the property and if you really want to he said he brought it if you really want to live off truly off grid you can't own any property do you know how difficult it is to truly live off grid like this guy you know how freaking crazy you'd have to be it's like look you're going to live without going to the store you're not going to have a bathroom you're going to be starting a fire every night you're going to be doing these things you're going to be living like rambo for the rest of your life that's not even realistic can it be done? Yeah, we go back to caveman days. But I digress. I wanted to go into this, and he's taken both of them out of context. So here's, this is the one, he just did the post today, off-grid survivor arrest is self-sufficient. I gotta disagree with him on both of these because they're taken out of context. And I, I agree with him on a lot of stuff. So I went over to the article, off-grid New Hampshire man jailed for refusing to vacate cabin for 27 years. I mean, the guy was on somebody else's property and he was asking him to leave. So that's reasonable. It's not like there's something that this guy was asked to be unreasonable at all. But I'm gonna go into something else that Bull Boom Bear Bus is missing. So here's the next article. It says couple facing arrest for leaving off grid on their own property. And they have their own system and septic system. Here's the issue with both those situations that I look at it. The problem is if you start having people just living off the grid and depositing their waste however they want, that becomes a serious problem. We went through this and fixed it over about 100 plus years ago in the United States where people were just defecating wherever they wanted and there was a lot more disease going around because of it. There wasn't as much understanding that you had to take it and, and get it out. You know, people would go to the bathroom in their front yard and stuff and then a little bit farther over they would be washing themselves and they didn't understand that all that stuff was leaching over there. So I have to disagree with them on this. You just can't let, if you let one person, if the government lets one person get away with it, then they can let everybody else get away with it. So there has to be some sort of regulations, law and order. Hey, we just can't have, granted it's only one person, but you don't want like hunt 10,000 or 50,000 people just taking a crap wherever they want to take a crap. That's why we have civilization. If somebody wants to live off grid, hey, so be it, go for it. But they still have to do things within the, the confines of not trying to like go backwards. So we're not gonna go off grid and then people are just gonna start defecating. Granted, they could take care of that stuff themselves, but the thing with the government is that they don't know for sure. So one person's like, hey, they're doing it. So the next person does it. And they don't, they don't really take care of all their excrement, if you know what I mean. So I got to disagree with Jason Jaws on that one, 100%. I think it was taken out of context. Like they're trying to say that they're persecuting this old man and this couple over there, they're persecuting them. No, they're looking out for the greater good of everybody else. So you don't have a bunch of people defecating all over the place and causing more disease. They want to have some regulation, a little bit of law and order over that, which makes sense. I'm sure you don't want people walking in your yard defecating. You'd have a problem with that. So that's all. I think it was taken out of context, folks. If you made it all the way in, thanks so much, man. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.